We're going to do a demonstration to see how far this puck moves over different surfaces. Tile, carpet, and sandpaper. The distance the puck travels depends on the strength of the friction force between the puck and each surface. Friction is a force between an object and the surface it's moving over. Friction is always exerted in the opposite direction of an object's motion, so it causes objects to slow down. We'll hit the puck with the same amount of force each time by pulling this mallet back to the same position. First, let's see what happens when the puck travels over tile. The puck travels really far. That's because the smooth surface of the tile exerts a weak friction force on the puck. The weak friction force only causes a small velocity change, so the puck moves far across the tile. What happens when the puck travels over carpet? We can see that the puck moves a little, but not as far as the tile. That's because the carpet exerts a stronger force of friction on the puck than the tile. This causes a larger velocity change, so the puck stops sooner. Now let's see what happens when the puck travels over sandpaper. The puck quickly comes to a stop. That's because the sandpaper's rough surface exerts a very strong force of friction. This causes a really large velocity change and makes the puck stop quickly. Let's review what happened. The weak friction force exerted by the tile made the puck slide far before stopping. On the carpet, the stronger friction force made the puck stop sooner and finally, the extra strong friction force exerted by sandpaper caused the puck to stop very quickly. Now we can see that friction causes everything to slow down, but different surfaces exert forces of different strengths on moving objects.